So since I'm planning on doing this on YouTube here pretty soon, figure I'd do it on Snapchat. Um, I'm kind of new to commercial service, so I figured I'd show y'all what I deal with in a day. Uh, we're at a radio station today, so uh, I think we got like 15 more units to service. So. so first on the menu after lunch, got a nice crawl space, which if you're a big boy like me, oh, you love crawl spaces, because why not? Plus, I'm scared to death of spiders. So, pretty much, I gotta go grab that filter, and then we'll maintain this, this beautiful carrier heat pump. I think the funniest part of this is that to get the filters, there's another crawl space. Rule two, should probably always make sure that said filter size written on unit is the actual filter size. So. It says 16221. And what we actually have is a 16 Come on. Come on. Come on, man. It is a 1620. Even better. I do have to say, it gets very dark in here when you don't have that, but now, with my brand new toy here, open the blower compartment up so we can check the blower door's amps now that the filter's clean, notate all that, make sure there's no shorts, and make sure the heat works, even though it's like... 70 degrees outside, it's fine though. Let's get this panel off. Ow. Oh yeah, the insulation's like halfway off the door. It's good for it. And that is our carrier blower. It's an ECM, which means it doesn't need the capacitor to start. Which is cool, one less thing to check. All right, let's get these blower in. All right, so to check it, since we're in a crawl space and nowhere near the thermostat, we use our handy dandy jumpers. Jump off, red and white. Let's do that one. And if all is well and right in the world, the heat should in fact come on. Yeah, there we go. Now we check amp draw. And for amp draw, we're gonna find out which one of these. There we go. And it's gonna be high because the door's open. But this thing's rated for like 7.3, 7.4, so that's well within range. And because I know somebody's going to get me for that open door comment, we'll do it without the door open. I'll brace the door on there and we'll get our closed door amp draw. So, jump it, it'll start. Cover the blower as much as possible, and then, then we'll take our amp draw from the black wire right there. See, the amps are substantially less because there's less load with the door closed. It was pulling in all the air from the crawl space. That's why it was so high a minute ago. So 2.65.
All right, so also while I was down there, I got the amp draw from the um, heat strips as well. Didn't show that because personally, I didn't want to spend a long time down there. It's really gross. And I still have to go back because I forgot the dadgum filter. So that's pretty much what you do. Not just one system though, there's normally quite a few. Um, I know like I have, we have five days here and a total of 60 pieces of equipment. So I'm, I think we got 17, 18 left to do before Friday. So but that's pretty much, you know, at least for an electric system. When it comes to a gas system, it's a little different. I'll see if we got another one. I'll add to this one without making this too insanely long for the first video. Yeah, pretty much. Um, what I do and mainly me doing this is because as a young technician there's a lot of pros out there that do these but I mean nobody gets to see your young man screw up so if I screw up let me know but other than that man that's a that's a heat pump maintenance pretty much all right now I'll show y'all the maintenance part on gas it's pretty much the same so pretty much the same gist of that again Get this door. All right. Basically. So your main difference, other than this nasty filter, and I'll just pretend that's not there, is that it is gas and you have burners instead of the refrigerant and a reversing valve and heat strips, you have an inducer motor, which vents the carbon monoxide, gas valve, burners. Also, I do have a capacitor to check. So, capacitor kind of gives it just a little surge to start the motor spinning. And then the regular motor will catch itself and maintain the rotation. But it's pretty much like a little kickstart. All right, as you can see, this is a 5 MFD capacitor, microfarads. Switch your settings to MFD on your meter. You're gonna read open line at first, and then it's gonna go to caps, 5.11. We're well within range, that's a good capacitor. We'll put that guy back and we'll fire this heat up. All right, and now it's our handy dandy jumpers. You'll jump red. Crap, you jump red and white. You hit your safety door switch and that'll fire the inducer. Which we're getting ready to check the inducer amps in just a second. Alrighty, so the inducer is rated, rated rather, for 1.45. Let's see what kind of draw we get. It's gonna be very high on startup. Then it's gonna continue on down. 1.22, that ain't bad. Still under, a little high. Then, all right, so your order of operations for the furnace, your glow fly comes on after your inducer. And then we should have ignition. Beautiful. Next thing we'll do is we'll check the blower amps once it comes on. All right, now to check the blower. We're rated for five. So with open door, that's phenomenal. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of difference, but there is differences between gas and electric. Yeah, guys, if you, uh, if you like the video, man, comment, subscribe. I mean, there's probably like two people that are gonna watch this and they're probably both of my parents. Oh. Um, Leave me feedback, man, because I'm going to keep updating this stuff. We'll do some package units eventually, maybe some tool bag layouts, tool reviews, drink some beer. Who knows, man? That's pretty much it. I'll catch you all next time.